All right. So uh, let's play with the rope. Try to swing the rope back and forth continuously. Just to give it one good stroke here and then start. Keep swinging, keep swinging. First, the back swing is too slow. Make the back swing faster. So instead of swinging hard in the downswing, try to make a continuous swing back and forth with a, a bit faster backswing, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, swing toward me this way here. Is the rope going, uh, coming this way or, yeah, now that's good. Yes. Yes. That pattern is good. So let, the, let your hands go around your body instead of stuck here. Again, this way. This way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Now square. Yep. Yep. So remember that uh, hand pad, right, right hand pad, okay? Now, inward. Yep. Yep. Very good. So now the direction is, direction is controlled by the way you move, you turn the body. Instead of going down here, things like that. So okay. generally, if you, uh, if you throw, try to throw the rope in certain directions, then you can adjust the, the way you turn your body. That way, then delay the opening of the shoulder and then go this way. If you have to go this way, then open chest, chest early and then let it go. Instead of coming down and then try to push and then oh. do something with the arms. Yeah. So generally, the way you move your arms should be similar in all these cases. Just to change the way you turn the body, this way or that way, but still the hand motion should be uh, similar. But now, your right, right uh, arm motion is uh, really good. So it's a clearing your body. Okay. Let, me, let me record this. So I'll keep moving. Okay. Okay, then you have to adjust to your throw, uh, the direction of your throw, okay? Okay, ready, go. Currently a square. Mm-hmm, yeah. Now, outward, yep. Mm-hmm, yep. Inward, yep. Mm-hmm. Very good. So now what I see is that your foot is not leaving the ground, but, <laughs> yeah, you are supporting your body in the turning Turning, turning, but when the right arm comes down this way and you're stuck here, you have to slide the body. Uh, then either the right foot leaves the ground early or the left side is lifted here. But now it's just a matter of uh, turning your body. Yeah. Okay. Now let me uh, watch from this direction. So when I uh, say inward, outward, then you adjust the direction. Uh, Okay, ready, go. After swings, stand on the left side, good. Okay, inward. Uh-huh. Yep. Square. Mm-hmm. Outward. Yeah. Very good. So you're controlling these by changing the way you turn the body yeah. instead of going down and then lift or try to turn around. So that way, always your right arm is going in front of your body. And then this way 
or this way by turning so the So one bike. requires, inward requires less turn to get in front. Outward requires more turn. To no, get no, in front. the outward, for the outward, you delayed opening of the chest. Delayed opening, okay. Yeah. Then oh, you'll okay. be able to let it go that way. Got it. And then when you have to turn this way, then you will open the chest early Earlier. and then guide it this way. And also you can make some adjustment in the backswing here. So if you want to throw the rope this way, then in the backswing, if you go that way, it will be a bit easier. Right. If you want to go that way, the backswing will be More this inside. way here. Okay. So overall, it's a change in orientation. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to go more inward here, it's going this way here and then swing here. This way and then swing here. You're going outward, then go in here and then let it go in and then let it go. But still, right arm has to clear the, the right. body instead of stuck here. Okay. And then, so the easiest is obviously square. Yeah. When you swing it uh, toward target, that is the easiest. But uh, you can certainly make these adjustments by changing the way you turn your body. And always, as long as you avoid this situation here, okay. then your leg will interact with the ground better. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, so you don't have to have. So it'll, it'll push and I'll weight it. I'll stay weighted and push up. Yeah, yeah. So, rather uh, than uh, yeah, stand on the left side and then finish. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the rope is a bit short uh, for you, but uh, it's a seven, seven feet. We don't have any, anyone uh, longer than that. So this is yours, so uh, take, oh. take it with you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this is good for a warm up. Okay. And also, the rope is kind of uh, you know, just responding to how you guide it. You cannot manipulate the rope motion with the wrist action here. Right. So you have to guide it correctly. <clears throat> so if you want to swing it toward the target, then this is it. And if you want to bring it a bit inward, then go this way. Yeah. You have to guide the rope in that way, the outward outward here. So this is really <laughs> reflecting yeah. how you, you're guiding this. And there's no way to mani manipulate it with that. So it's promoting more body swing, mm. less arm swing. Because mm -mm -mm. if I try to involve my arms, it goes flat. Yeah. Just, yeah. And then you can also swing this uh, really fast. So let's see, uh, downswing, put a lot of effort to swing hard. Okay. But in order to swing hard, you have to put backswing here. Yeah. When you have a wind up, and then you can... Uh, so is it Throw one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So try to uh, feel the rhythm. The, the right leg is important in the back swing. Yes. So now what you're doing is that because you're using the right leg actively, yeah. so you are letting it go more. <laughs> you're not going. <laughs> yeah. So that gives you a lot more rhythmic motion. The problem I had earlier was when I take the picture, your motion was too quick. <laughs> so I missed the, the timing. So uh, it's because of the transition from back swing down is too fast. Okay. But still, the, the, the overall you know, different uh, aspects we looked at, they are good. Yeah. However, when you use a rope, you cannot do this. Right. Because the rope is flexible, so it will go around your body. Mm -hmm. So you have to time the downswing properly, right? So again, having good rhythmic backswing and then throw the rope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, if you look at the leg. It's planted. Yeah. And then now it's coming more from your body action here. Yeah. yeah. This is really good. So let me record this. Okay. <laughs> swing really hard. So in order to swing hard on the way down, you have good wind up in the back swing. Wind up. Yeah, rhythmic, rhythmic uh, right. back swing. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Very good. So that's it. That's it. So now the swing is really coming from the body here. Yeah. So you are, you are strong, you're big, so still you can do the swing with your arms. Mm -hmm. However, imagine if you use the body really well, what's going to happen? More. Mm -hmm. 
more strength, more yeah. speed. On also because uh, you are using the the body, the swing becomes easier. All you need is uh, move the arm in front of your your body properly, so that you don't have a you know stuck elbow here. Yeah. Then you will be able to guide. So the, this is driver irons, everything. Uh, mainly the, the driver swing, you particularly need this, but okay. uh, in the iron swing, you can downsize the motion a little bit. Okay. But still, the rhythm is mm, here and then let it go instead of. Right. You can certainly sort of uh, making this uh, circle here, go okay. up and then move the arm down here, but yeah. instead use the body and then bring it down. Okay. Yeah. So this is the idea. Okay. And then particularly feel the Rhythmic body motion here. Yeah. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Ooh, look at this. So your your pelvis is not particularly sliding them, you know, much. Yeah. Because you're clearing the uh, the body. Oh, it looks different. So this was mainly working on the direction here. Right. Mm. Yeah, you're turning around instead of. Up. Yeah. You see, nothing is obstructing your, mm -hmm. your arm motion here. Yeah. And the wrists and hands, they come through in the same spot, no matter it's mm -hmm. outward, mm -hmm. square, mm -hmm. or inward. So uh, it's not obstructing your arm motion anymore. So uh, no. if the swings stand on the left side, good. OK, inward. Uh-huh. Yep. Square. Outward. Yeah. Very good. Mm. So you said clearing the body in front of yeah. the body. So mm. this this is my best tool. All the weighted things and everything else. Is there any benefit to any of those? You can still work with the devices with a different weight, mm -hmm. different lengths. So, uh, so that you can have a full control of uh, your body. Yeah. But particularly this one, because it's a flexible, right. only when you guide the rope properly, then the rope will move properly. Yeah, okay. Mm. So right. you cannot really force it by, by using the wrist. Yeah. Right. So that's, that's why the rope swing is really good. Okay. And then even uh, when, uh, when the plane is reasonable, then whether you use uh, both the hands here or just one hand here. Oh. Still, you have the same plane here. Right. We have good control here. Let it go. And then both here. Yeah. So try it. Uh, so start with the both hands, okay. and then right, left, and then both. Okay. Uh, try to maintain a uh, consistent swing plane. Okay. Mm. Throw the rope. Mm hmm Yeah. And the left. Yep. And the both. Mm hmm Yep. So when you do with the with the right right arm only, if the right arm goes too far here, it's very different from your two hand swing. Right. So when you use the right arm then you have to flex it here and then throw. And then with the left arm, if the timing is a bit late, the body turns too much, and then the arm goes here. So you have to time this properly. Okay. So still maintain the same plane. Yeah. Again. So when you use the right arm, the right arm should be flexed. The elbow should be flexed. And the left arm, instead of turning the body too early, yeah. you have to time the body motion and the arm motion. Right? And then left arm, time it correctly, yes. Time it correctly, and then throw the rope. 
and it's slightly inward right now. Okay. Yeah, now, boat, boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you will be able to uh, see whether when you use a one arm, whether the motion is similar or not. And if yeah. uh, the arm goes wild, then uh, the motion is different. Okay. But when you can control the rope motion so that you maintain a very consistent swing plane, yeah. that means uh, you have a full control of the rope motion. So let me record this. Okay. So two, right, left. Mm. Now try to maintain the swing, uh, swing plane consistently. Okay, ready, go. Throw the rope, yes. Throw the rope. Also, throw the rope, yeah. Uh-huh. And then boat. Yes. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So this is how you um, refine your motion. Your body is, uh, you're strong, so uh, you can swing it hard. Yeah. However, now you have the finesse as well. So okay. You can control the way you move your arms, the way you turn your body. So if the arms goes around your body, then you'll be able to stand on the left side nicely here. Got it. So sometimes uh, by... By moving the arms too early, then you cause all, all the mm. problems. So that's why the, that's why the rope helps yeah. stop mm. here, not stop. So this is, this is very different because uh, in your regular swing, you quickly try to bring it down, but because with the rope, you let the rope go around your body. Yeah. Naturally, you have a bit more time. That's why you can use your body better. Okay. Mm. So I was a, uh, not quite confident whether I have to recommend this to you or not. <laughs> but naturally, you found that rhythm there. Particularly during the back, you have active right leg here. Yeah. With that, you are throwing this. OK. Yep, so this is it. Awesome. Back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 <laughs> One more. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah.